Hello! In this video, we are going to take a look at the new environment light in Lightweb 2020. As you can see in the new interface, we have the environment shaders in the light itself, and uh, we still also have the environment in the in the backdrop with the use global setting it will use whatever you have in the backdrop and if you turn the use global off it will use whatever is defined in the light so you can add multiple environment lights and have different backdrop setups for each and then choose which environment light you want to render your scene with. What we also have is OpenGL rendering of the environment light. You can see the, the image that the envir environment light has c coming from the backdrop is seen in the in the re reflection specular highlights of the surface if i edit the surface roughness it reacts accordingly um, and it is not just visible in the specular reflections it is also visible in the in the diffuse to get a nice backdrop GI look on the diffuse channel. If I disable the effect specular, we can see that this is the diffuse only. And if we switch the environment light to use a, uh, <laughs> a, silly, a silly gradient, you can see that the diffuse uh, is correctly softened as it should. Um, the time dependent option is for when you have an animated uh, backdrop or a plugin in the environment list. But if, if you don't have an animated backdrop, then you can just turn it off. And uh, so the processing is going to be faster because it doesn't have to process the animation for you for each of the frame if you drag the slider. Now we can, if we turn off use global, we can see that I have a uh, physical sky shader set up. In the light, I've got another light, a distant light set as the item. So if I take that light and I start rotating it, you can see the OpenGL representation change accordingly. We could also, we can also have any backdrop plugin we, we, we're used to, such as SkyTracer. or in each world, <coughs> etc. And now, previously, you would have to use these uh, reflection options on the surface to turn off the backdrop sampling for each surface when using an, an environment light in your scene. Here we can see it in 2019. The default setting was ray trace plus backdrop and you would have to set it to ray trace only if you used an environment light. But now it is all automatic. You don't have to change your surfaces. If you have a, an, an environment light in the scene. And that's a quick look at the new environment light and the new OpenGL 
for the environment light.